So I got a few questions on the previous video I did on the study showing that 100 grams of protein led to greater improvements in muscle protein synthesis more than when people ate 25 grams. A few people reached out to me, so let me try to answer your questions here. Now just to recap, they found that 100 grams of protein increased muscle protein synthesis by 40% greater than eating 25 grams. Now this study is getting a lot of attention, however there are are some things that we still don't know and that gave rise to some of the questions I was getting. Number one, what would happen if you gave people say four meals of 25 grams of protein per meal that again would equal 100 grams? Would you get the same improvement in protein synthesis up to 12 hours as you did if you ate a single giant meal containing 100 grams. That right now is unknown. However, it makes sense that eating smaller meals over the course of a day would most likely present the same degree of muscle protein synthesis than if you just ate all your protein at once. Another thing we still don't know is how long does the improvement in muscle protein synthesis last? This study showed that improvements in protein synthesis lasted for up to 12 hours. That was the duration of this study. Does it persist for say 24 Four hours we still don't know that either another thing that's unknown and this is a biggie how long does this improvement in muscle protein synthesis following protein ingestion persist in other words would you get the same benefit in protein synthesis after three weeks of eating a high protein diet as you would after just one day in other words, is it possible the body adapts to the increased protein needs by reducing muscle protein synthesis? That is something that future studies absolutely need to take a look at. And for the vegans who are watching me, what does this mean for people who eat a lot of soy protein? And another very valid question is, does this study prove that eating greater amounts of protein leads to improvements in muscle strength, muscle size, or even athletic performance? We have to remember that in this study, it only lasted 12 hours and people only performed one total body strength training workout, which isn't enough time to figure out if extra protein does indeed lead to improvements in muscle strength. And to be fair, I will also point out that some research does show that eating greater amounts of protein doesn't necessarily increase the adaptations to strength training, so more protein might not necessarily mean more improvements in strength or muscle size. However, this study does appear to show that humans can indeed absorb more protein at one meal than was previously thought. As for how much protein we can indeed absorb in a single meal, well, that again is something we need more research on.